Being a part of the project like Nourish, it, it's pushed me out of my comfort zone again. It, it's making me grow. I mean, if you look at my art, and my art is the same as last year, I'm doing something wrong. I want it to constantly be evolving. I think when people walk through the gallery and they see my work, what I really want them to connect with is how much emotion and thinking that I put into each little cut and each brush stroke. I was partnered with the Chesapeake Bay Foundation. Like more particularly, I went and observed their oyster harvesting um, events. Chris Moore, who is like an ecological scientist, complete expert, knows everything about it. I mean, he just blew me away with the amount of information he knew. He invited me to their oyster barges. We walked out this pathway, got on these boats that had these huge blue tubs. And in the tubs are tons of, they look, at first they seem like they're just half of an oyster shell, but if you look closely, they have little baby oysters growing on them. And what they do is they collect those oysters, put them in those bins, and they, uh, uh, over time, will grow new oysters that they can uh, redistribute. Um, and the impact they're having is incredible. I mean, as an artist, coming into that situation and seeing all this volunteer work and seeing the impact they're having. Um, it, it, was, it, it was incredible. I wanted to make sure that whatever I made kind of gave a nod to that, kind of honored that. And so in my own personal work, I typically do objects or abstract pieces or, or landscapes and things like that. But I decided to jump into a, uh, a section that I've just never really explored before, which is uh, the human figure. This was perfect because I'm standing there at this event out in the rain, and I see all these people working in the rain. They don't care that it's rain, they're getting dirty. And I was just like, man, there's something here. Man, I used to spend so much time on the water. I used to spend so much time walking around those oysters. I've kind of drifted away as in my older age. I fish a little bit, but you know, I've kind of, I've drifted from that. So this project was really nice because it kind of brought me back into the smells and the feels and the textures of, uh, of the sea life and the shoreline and everything that's around us in this area.